For the last three days, we've seen Ethereum go on a solid climb against its Bitcoin value. So that means Ethereum is climbing in value, even though we've seen a crash on Sunday and the dollar values are staying stable. So this is an important point to note in the underlying values of our cryptocurrencies. This is what we're going to cover in today's video and try to dispel some of the myths and some of the noise out there around, should I sell Ethereum? Should I buy Ethereum? What the hell should I do with Ethereum? So we're going to look at in today's video with the charts and the forever bullish crypto news in the current bull market. So if you love the sound of that and you want to be updated with cryptocurrency news from a hopium free platform, let me know. Hit the subscribe button down below. Let's get the channel to 120,000 bell notification icon so you can beat the scammers to the videos and get your comments in there scam free. And if you find value from the video at all, let me know. Hit the like button down below because it does go a very long way to helping out the video in the YouTube algorithm. Let's dive in. A recap of the market caps. We see a $2 trillion market cap just holding on. This is for the entire cryptocurrency space, with, which is now more than 9,000 cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, $1 trillion. We have seen it slip under the trillion dollar mark, but I think we're going to see a multi-trillion dollar Bitcoin during this bull market. Ethereum, $272 billion, and this is climbing as Bitcoin is falling. So that's a good sign as well. We often see this when we're going on another altcoin season. Now, I'm not sure of the strength of the altcoin season, just trying to give you my hopium free perspective here, but in terms of Ethereum, being able to climb while Bitcoin is falling, I think that is a good sign that the market is still in a bull market phase. Binance coin is holding its value here at 550, haven't seen any new highs. Dogecoin has begun to fall away from those highs, something that we've covered in previous videos. So if you're interested in that and learning more about technicals, I highly suggest checking out those videos after this one. Uniswap, another favorite, which is moving to new highs. Same with Chainlink. Let's move across to the fear and greed to check on this because we're seeing a drop in the fear and greed down from the 70s into the 60s. I think this is just part of the Bitcoin drop and we haven't seen new moves up on the Bitcoin value. So people are starting to get a little more fearful. And these are often the times when they're the best to be reaccumulating in a particular project that you really believe in. Not personally, not to be speculating on shit coins, which may not even take off uh, in the next phase of the market. So this is really for accumulating good tokens after we've seen a nice correction. Greed, greed, extreme greed, greed. Twitter. I popped this up uh, just yesterday. How long have you been in crypto? Let me know in the comments down below. Seems like the majority of you have only been in the market for zero to six months. Uh, and then we've got another 10%, which have only been in for six to 12 months. And the OGs, about 18% of you have been here for one to three plus years. If that is you, let us know down below. You know I talk about staying with the market. If you want to make the really big gains, you've got to stick around for the bear markets because the bear markets make you rich, whereas the bull markets can just make you some money. You want to get in for those massive multiples. And if you're in this zone of the zero to six months, I highly suggest making your way into this three plus years so that you can see a bear market, see great opportunities of projects which have already gone 60x like Cardano and VeChain. Make those multiples yourself. Over to the Ethereum news. DeFi on Ethereum shoots up 200%. Polkadot BSC erode its dominance. That's okay. We're getting more players into the market and there is so much on Ethereum. Of course, it's on Polkadot too, another favorite of mine. Uh, we're going to look at these tweets as well by Masari. The network closed quarter one of this year with $48 billion locked. That's Ethereum. So $48 billion locked over there uh, from Masari. And Glassnode's also showing us a lot of data here with the, well, of course, fees are up. That's what's making money on Ethereum. It's not that much of an issue. You've got BSC for the smaller players and you've got Ethereum for the big money. I mean, there's something for everyone. I'm not overly concerned. I think there's fantastic opportunities all around in this bull market. And then when we hit the bear market, everything is going to be improved during that period, just like we've seen in previous bear markets. So stay with the projects and continue to understand them. Masari, quarter one, Ethereum saw an increase in total value locked. We've looked at that. But Q1 growth for challenges is on the rise as well. Solana, massive. I am very, very bullish on Solana. That took off to new all-time highs when we saw the dip on Sunday. Bitcoin was down, Ethereum was down, Solana, new freaking all-time highs. Cosmos, Polkadot. Polkadot, another favorite. 
Cosmos, I also think is a great project, but there's just you, you're just starting to get so many projects here that are fantastic. You got to pick a few and stick with them. My money is on Solana, Polkadot, and of course Ethereum, which is the OG. Don't have anything against Binance or Cosmos. Also great projects. Just got to pick a couple. Can't catch them all, can we? Solana hits new highs. DApps, DeFi, stablecoins join the network. So Solana is at around seven or eight billion dollar market cap. It's one of the reasons why I've gone with Solana over some of uh, the others. You know, I think Binance will do extremely well. It's at 80 billion already, whereas Solana is climbing its way into this top 20 and cementing its position. I think it's going to get to the top 10. It's currently at 8.7 billion dollars. So even if we've got a 10x from Solana, it only sits us sits it close to Binance. And I think with what is building on it, it has the potential to get there, but of course Binance will also move up in the ranks as well. Maybe we only get a 5x. I, I just see there's a lot of potential with Solana. Looking uh, back to the DeFi projects and the dApps that are building on Solana, you can see here, new all-time highs. This is their ecosystem. Absolutely massive. A lot of uh, exchanges, a lot of wallets, a lot of infrastructure, uh, DeFi, Serum I'm also bullish on, Radium, they've got uh, Chainlink paired with them, of course Terra, everyone goes on about Terra, Ramp, another big project but small cap, uh, BAM Protocol, Oxygen, Frontier, just you know I could name everything on here but we won't, we'll move on. This is cool, Ethereum Ratio Gang, this has been climbing so much, 27%. So this is essentially Ethereum against the Bitcoin value, looking at it in terms of percentage. So it's 4.3% value of, uh, of a Bitcoin. This was just 19% just a few days ago. Looking at it on the chart, Ethereum Bitcoin, back around uh, just a couple, oh sorry, three weeks ago, we were sitting somewhere at 3%. Now we're sitting at 4.4% and looking at our ratio, it's climbed up and we're getting closer to that 100% of uh, the Bitcoin Valley, which is only looking at it in terms of the market cap. So if Ethereum reaches $4,300, it's half the value of current day Bitcoin value. If it gets to 0.16% of a Bitcoin, then it flips Bitcoin. That's why we have a dolphin here flipping Bitcoin. So that's our target. We want to flip Bitcoin in this cycle. I smile about it because if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We're still going to make money either way. We don't need to get all uh, primitive and bitchy about it. So looking at the chart, this is Ethereum Bitcoin, one week chart. So we're looking at a macro view again. Everyone is now bringing up this chart. We've been looking at it for months and months on the channel because the whole idea here is that we want to see our crypto increase in dollar value and increase in... So the dollar value is to make us money. Increasing in Bitcoin value is to reduce our risk. If the crypto is holding steady or increasing against Bitcoin, that means we're reducing our risk because Bitcoin is the least riskiest, riskiest cryptocurrency. And if we're going up against it, then we're also doing great. And our next targets, obviously we've got support and resistance levels at around 5.3%, 6.4%, 7.6% and of course eight. So call it every percent and a half increase on the way up. Coming back to the point of buying or selling, or should I get dump all my... Coming back to the point of Ethereum and the whole discussion that's been the last few weeks of selling Ethereum, it's not doing anything, dump it, waste of time. Patience, patience is the game. You know, we talk about that all the time as traders and investors, not just here on YouTube spouting out media and news posts. If you really want to trade and invest long term, got to follow these charts. The news, of course, is important, but you've got to understand the charts as well. We've clearly bounced off our 50% zone, and this has been anchored to the chart for months now. That's what we want to see. 50% bounce is strong. Of course, we need to cross this high and close above it. So the next target is definitely closing above 4.6% and holding at that level. Gives us this inverted head and shoulders. You see there's a shoulder here, shoulder here. There's the head. And that's a bullish sign as well. Some other people looking at it in terms of a cup and handle. So there's a lot of bullish patterns around this bottom uh, volume increasing as well. As long as we get this breakout above, we are good to go. And then we've got a lot of uh, clear room up here to continue climbing. So Ethereum is looking fantastic overall. That's why it's not one of my positions that I just want to sell on a dime and try and gamble it away on other small shit coins out there. 
it's like a Bitcoin, you know, I want to store my value there and play with the other part of my portfolio. This is not something that I want to risk because I see uh, a lower risk in Ethereum and I see it climbing. I, I definitely can see the price climbing here. So it's an easy, easy trade. Bitcoin dominance is also falling, but it is slowing at the moment. We almost hit our third target here at 50, very just close to that, 51.5% sliced through our 54%. And so Bitcoin dominance falling means either money is leaving the entire space, but we can see that it's not from the uh, the total market cap. And the other side just means that then money is flowing out of Bitcoin into other cryptocurrencies. And Ethereum is definitely one of my biggest bets that a lot of the smart money is going to next. Bitcoin itself, 52,000, it is falling as I'm on stream with you guys now. Yeah, I think we're taking out this low. It's something that I've looked at before. My buy level, 46,000. This would just mean that the 20 week moving average is about to come up to this level during the next week. It's climbing at about 2,000 or just short of $2,000 per week at the moment. And so this is a fantastic level. It'll scare a lot of people because it's gonna drop the price. I'm not concerned. This, is, this looks like a fantastic price cluster support area that basically reduces the risk from buying up high it's a for me a good low buy level and i definitely want to see this low taken out at fifty one and a half thousand. takes out this low here scares people takes out a weekly swing low it comes to a good level at around 46 i don't care if it spikes down to 40 42 44 i definitely want to see it start to hold its level at around that 44 46 000. sweet looking level to reduce the risk of buying up high. Don't shit the bed, hold steady, have your plan in place. 200 week moving average, heat map still on track. We have not blown out of the water. More bullishness for the space. If it takes us a little bit longer to get to our peak, fantastic. Gives you more time to be dollar cost averaging into a position. Bitcoin, JP Morgan, don't care. Bitcoin will struggle to reach 60 grand again. Nonsense. They're buying, they're doing other things in the market. They put out some bearish news. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Look at the rest of the stuff. Uh, Biden wanting to print more money. Everyone's asking him to print more money. Initially, estimates say the package of Biden's are proposing would be around 2.25 trillion, but Biden seems willing to compromise. I doubt this is going to be the last one, but who am I? Some random on the internet. I definitely think they're going to be printing more money in the next couple of years. We are not out of all of this drama with viruses and all this sort of stuff, etc. Democrats have, uh, also have the backing of economists as the letter stresses that 150 economists support the idea of automatic stabilizers. They, they want to be printing more money throughout the rest of this pandemic and probably a little beyond that to continue to stimulate the economy. Wave of Bitcoin buyers appear to have no interest in selling on-chain analyst. Most likely institutions that bought in the last three to six months aren't selling. So it looks like they're just taking the Bitcoin off, going into cold storage, more glass nodes data. This is, of course, bullish news for the space. Even if it drops to 46, that's fine. This is just the way the markets work. They have to go in ebbs and flows. Supply profile, price when the supply last moved, now forming the largest cluster of price discovery since Bitcoin was below 10,000. Meaning that during this period, this around I would say around 40,000 to 65,000 is a region that we are looking to form some sort of stability. So we need to be fluctuating between those to find a level that is a comfortable base before we can take off again. It's essentially just building another foundation for the next levels of the high rise that we're building. At some point the high rise will fall over, but we'll probably just take off the top of the high rise and come back to a solid level before we build the next part of the high rise. That's what's going on right now. Bitcoin current, 20% correction, mild. I agree. Peter Brandt's looking at this. Uh, also looking at that level of around 46,000. However, I've come to mind in a different way. I look at FIBS and it works out perfectly. The moving average also lines up with that area. More bullish news. These companies are buying insurance to cover and lure in institutions. If they're gonna put their money with a company, they want to make sure their money is protected. Now, will these ins will these insurance companies actually pay out? I don't want to test it, but they're buying $600 million worth of crypto insurance in case something goes wrong. That's just adding to their $100 million of insurance. 
I don't think you would go to the expense of having cover for 700 million if you didn't believe the space is going to continue up. So that's hugely bullish news to me. I'm going to do a video on OKX coming up, but just to let you know, OKX goes live with Bitcoin, Lightning Network deposits and withdrawals. OKX is pleased to announce a Bitcoin Lightning Network. Uh, if you don't know of OKX, it's another cryptocurrency exchange out there. I talk about exchanges and having multiple of them in case one of them goes down. You've got other backups. That's probably why it's not a great idea to leave all of your funds on an exchange in case you want to trade during periods of high volatility. OKX, um, they're doing a lot of improvements to their exchange. And like you can see here, they've got Lightning Network, which is the faster network of Bitcoin, you know, layer two on Bitcoin and enabling much faster and cheaper BTC transfers. OKX uh, users are now able to use the Lightning Network. I'll talk about OKX in future videos as well. Maybe do a dedicated video on the exchange or how to use it. Bullish Rothschilds invest vehicle doubles down. They invest in Kraken. Rothschilds investing in Kraken. Kraken looking to go uh, public at some point. They're saying second half of 2022. No guarantees, of course. If the market crashes from that point, they won't go public. They'll wait until we get uh, another bull market to go public, just like Coinbase. Last up, Centropy Neuer. So a small cap here, rally 65% after announcing SpaceX partnership, partnered with Elon Musk's SpaceX. So what are they? One token that has undergone several significant price breakouts in 2021, Centropy Neuer. Project focused on transforming the public internet into a secure user-focused platform with built-in encryption and other performance enhancing features. What does all that mean? They just want to build another internet and of course partner with SpaceX. I think that's enough to get a lot of people's attention. Elon Musk's SpaceX. Now, if you've made all those gains, why not check out BlockFi? You see that? Nice segue into BlockFi. There's a link to this down below. Earn up to 8.6% interest. You know, I talk about these guys and crypto.com as well. But I'm mentioning BlockFi today because like I do with exchanges, I like to spread my risk. What happens if one of these companies doesn't make it? You know, they, they just close up shop. You, all your money's on one platform. What do you do? You can diversify your savings and earn very similar interests across both platforms. Earn up to 8.6% APY on BlockFi. That would be with your stable coins. And these are the interest rates here. Bitcoin, a zero to one, six percent. If you have over one Bitcoin, only two percent. So that's another reason to diversify as well. You know, with my portfolio that I share on Instagram, link in the description, that I have nearly two Bitcoin in that portfolio. So I couldn't put all of them on here. I'd get a really lame rate of averaging around four percent. So I can put one here and one on crypto.com. Uh, link 5.5 ETH up to 100 ETH. So I have 43 ETH on uh, in my super fund and my retirement fund so i can put them all on here and get my 5.25 percent lastly join my newsletter if you haven't already it's free drop your name email address link is down below if you want to learn more about cryptocurrency and investing yes we cover more than just crypto the whole idea here is to stay with the market and become a full-time investor so if you want to learn more name email address completely free Drop it down below and you'll get our fortnightly newsletter. It's one every two weeks. Small cap cryptos I have coming up on the channel. Yield app. So this is just giving you a little leg in before I've got the videos going. Yield app now trading on QuickSwap, the leading Polygon DEX. Check it out. This is a decentralized wallet app that gets you good interest rates on the DeFi space. So you don't have to do all of the trading yourself. And the other coin I've got coming up is Poker City. People have been talking about this. I've been doing more research on it now and I want to understand whether this is a good play in the NFT space. You can see here what they're producing. Looks pretty interesting. I've got this coming up as well. Lastly, for the new guys, check out New to Bitcoin and Crypto. This is a good playlist. If you are new to the space, you want to know more about wallets, uh, trading, setting up plans. People don't have freaking plans. Go and just listen to these and start to write your own plan while we're in this quieter period of the market. Uh, how to buy Bitcoin, Swiftex, crypto exit plan, um, all the different smart contracts. I'm comparing those here and so on. You get the idea. That's a good playlist that you guys can go and follow after this. Thank you very much for your support on the channel. I'll see you on Twitter, Instagram, and on the next video. Like it up, subscribe to the channel. Catch you at the next one, guys. Thanks very much. Until next time, have more fun to get more done.